That was pretty fun. That was Bit Part Actor by Stump off of their 1986 album Quirk Out. Never heard of Stump before, but apparently they are very influential, and this album actually did pretty well at the time, even. Um, described as described as part Captain Beefheart and his magic band and part The Fall. That sounds fairly accurate. We're listening to that today because we have a song from the Smiths from 1986 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 19 of the Smiths tournament today, and that is match 10 in round 2. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Smiths tournament is, let me explain. We took every single song that the Smiths released and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're going to do battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song that the Smiths have released. According to me. Just a guy who's casually into the Smiths. Today we're going to be starting off with I Know It's Over, which was released in 1986 on The Queen Is Dead. Uh, according to Genius.com, I Know It's Over is a ballad for the desperate and lonely. It uses basic allusions to the idea of loneliness producing despair, but the attention to the speaker's ego and how it leads to his demise creates an original take on heartbreak through the mind of Morrissey. Okay. Okay then, it's competition today it is also the name of a pretty cool band we did a tournament on way back before we did videos, and that is Pretty Girls Make Graves, released in 1984 on their self-titled album, The Smiths. There's a very short annotation on Genius.com on this one. It says this song is about Morrissey's view on sex expressed through an encounter with a lustful girl. I know what the band Pretty Girls Make Graves sounds like, but I can't remember what the song sounds like. But first, let's check out I Know It's Over. Here we go. Oh, mother, I can feel the soul falling over my head. And as I climb into an empty bed, oh, well, enough said. I know it's over, still I claim I don't know where else I can go Oh, mother, I can feel The soil falling over my head See the sea Just like any other night That's 
that one off of the album i really enjoy that song i've always enjoyed that uh third verse uh with the kind of refrain within the verse of why are you on your own tonight i love that like if you're so funny why are you all alone you're so smart you're so clever why y'all alone uh i love that song that's a really good one i can't remember pretty girls make graves by the name but let's see if the sound is familiar here's pretty girls make graves And up on the bay There is a quick and easy way you say Before you illustrate I'd rather stay I'm not the man you think I am I'm not the man you think I am And sorrow's native son He will not smile for anyone Oh 
That one was also really great. It had kind of like this uh, countrified sound to it, kind of rockabilly guitars. Um, I really like that one. That's tough. I really hate to cut either of these so soon in the tournament. Both of these are songs that could go pretty far, but they're facing each other now for the first time in round two. And I'm going to have to go with I Know It's Over. I'm a sucker for the bass in that one. The bass carries that whole song through. Uh, cool little guitars in there, too. And the vocals and lyrics are some of my favorite in the Smiths. Like this video if you like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content. And let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the Smiths tournament action we've got going for the day, but please join me tomorrow when we get down with some more of the Smiths and the Magnetic Fields tournament action. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.